If you've ever wondered where your mutt came from or what health issues your dog might run into down the line, you're not alone. Embark is a dog DNA testing company that made it onto Forbes' next billion dollar startups list this year. The company was started by Ryan Boyko, a canine geneticist and his younger brother Adam, who has a master's degree in public health. I was uh, interested in dog genetics about eight years before I founded the company. I started a project with my brother actually to go around the world and um, collect DNA from dogs around the world so we could better understand where they came from, how they spread across the globe, because they are this unique bond. They have this unique bond with people. You can go on our website or Amazon Chewy, places like that, uh, order a test and it'll show up at your door. And then it's just a simple uh, cheek swab. So for 30 seconds, you swab your dog's cheek. There's instructions, videos, all of that uh, to make it easy. Uh, drop it in the mailer that we, we provide. And uh, in about two to three weeks, you'll get your results. So you get an email that says your results are ready. Um, there's the health results and then the breed results. And, and then even after that, uh, we update you with new relatives for your dog, sometimes add new health tests and, and all of that. To understand the biggest problems that afflict dogs, um, you know, cancers and hip dysplasia, all of that, you really need a million or more dogs in a database so that you can um, find these complex genetic associations. It's not just one gene, it's many genes coming together. And um, there just wasn't money available via academic channels to build that kind of uh, database of dogs. You know, the, you could maybe get a few thousand dogs. And uh, at the same time, we saw 23andMe's success in the market. And we, we also saw, as we tried to um, recruit dogs for these studies that uh, my brother was doing in his lab, that lots and lots of people were like, yes, I want to do this. And what else can you tell me about my dog? And the answer was, well, we're in academic lab. We can't really tell you anything about our dog. All of that kind of came together and coalesced in this idea that we could provide people with actionable information now, with interesting information now. We could provide breeders with tools that would actually help breed longer lived, healthier dogs right now. And at the same time, be building a database of information that's going to allow us to make discoveries that help dogs live longer in the future. The company launched in 2015. This year, they expect to make $72 million in revenue, up nearly 50% from $50 million last year. Breeders, for one, um, you know, use us as part of a core part of their breeding program. So, of course, they are in some ways these artists, essentially, who are trying to breed a dog for some purpose, whether it's to be the ideal family pet or to win Westminster or to um, be a great herding dog, whatever it is. Um, but underlying all of that is the need for dogs that are healthy, dogs that live a long time. Um, and so this is really a tool where they can take all the other tools that they do to breed for, for those things while using us to make sure they're also doing that in, in light of what would make the healthiest dog. About a third of our users say that after they get our results, a third of you know, just average pet owners when they get our results, say they change at least something about their dog's care routine, whether it's diet or exercise or training or toys or whatever it is. Um, and many of the things that we do test for, most of the health conditions we find in dogs, there is something that you can do, uh, whether you know, from changing diet to changing the environment to, to that kind of thing in order to reduce their risk. Ryan says they stand apart because they test more thoroughly than other DNA kits on the market. About three years ago now, we launched the first ever canine relative finder. You know, dogs are born together in a litter. Usually those uh, siblings and parents are in the same geographic area. And so in lots of cases, people decide to meet up uh, and they have these amazing stories of their, you know, their dogs meet and they seem to already know each other and, and play and all of that. The company is worth around $700 million and is looking at how to use its growing genomic database to improve canine health and longevity as it grows. We are in this for the dogs. At the same time, we have ha had conversations with companies that are really interested in human health and there are definitely conditions because they've shared our environment for so long and, and they you know share certain traits with us where they are a really, really good model for them uh, in a human sense. So the idea here though is they're not 
we would never use dogs as research subjects like rats in the lab or something. We would be trying to help dog health and a nice byproduct of that could be that some of the advances made in dog health may be able to be translated into human medicine as well. We, one, believe that the test should become the standard of care for all dogs. You know, things like predisposition to get bladder stones where you can feed the dog a different diet and avoid that instead of now what happens is you learn it the hard way basically when your dog is in a lot of pain and unable to urinate and you have to take them to an emergency vet and it's both painful and costly to learn that information and here you can learn it much more cheaply and actually do something about it before it becomes a problem.